think music is truly the ultimate way to express emotion. It, it brings forth ins inspiration and fear, just any emotion that is. And if without it, everything's just bland and dull. Ever since I had started music and I realized how much I had a love for it, it's totally changed my path and my career path that, I, that I've chosen for myself. You can't live in a world if there's no music. It would be a very dead world. If I didn't have Ruchosi, I wouldn't be where I am now. Ruchosi of Houston's mission is to create a pre-professional but professional climate for young musicians to learn chamber music, classical music, and have the appreciation of that. We have, and we take musicians, if they qualify at the audition, irrespective race, religion, or financial status. If they cannot afford to pay the fees, we give them financial assistance. This would be a fine professional orchestra in many places. The fact that it is composed of students from middle school to high school is absolutely astounding. It shows the depth of talent, the amount of fine training that these young people get. You have to have a good conductor, you have to have a good program, and uh, it all comes together. We have three major concerts, two at the Hobby Center and one which is my event, the annual concert in Gala. The two Hobby Center concerts are serious classical chamber music. This is Pops. And, and it's very important for the young musicians to learn and have that versatility also. There are many youth orchestras ar around the country which consist of predominantly large orchestras. The orchestras that have uh, typically a hundred musicians or, or maybe even more. Uh, our orchestra never reaches more than about 55 musicians. Oftentimes it's less than that. So this is where the responsibility comes. Every note has to be perfect. And that's why we get the best of the best into this orchestra. We have like 28 schools represented throughout Houston. And so we choose the best of the best to play here because each person contributes to his playing. One, two. Our mission is music education on all fronts. Uh, and we originally designed this orchestra to cover chamber orchestra, which demands much more of the individual musician than playing in a very large group does. Not to downplay it, because whenever you're playing with any orchestra, large or small, it's important. But it just takes more being on the ball to make it work when you've got fewer musicians, because the responsibility on every individual increases. The people here are absolutely amazing. They're great musicians. They all care about wanting to make music and that's the best part. It's great when you have an entire ensemble that just wants to make music because you know back at high school or back at wherever you know locally you play um, not everybody cares and here it's it's extraordinary that everybody just cares. Virtuosi is one of the top um, quality youth orchestras. I really think Virtuosi does the best job um, providing uh, great uh, music experiences and on top of that being around really high level people that want to be there and want to try and want to make great music. I support the virtuosi of Houston because they are, the young musicians are very talented. In my opinion they have very high IQ too and they are dedicated to the music. I support it because the music is very healing you know, to people. And it's very uh, inspiration also you find in music. One of the great things about Texas, one of the many, many things I love about 
Texans is that they're philanthropic and they, and they, and they want to help others. And here's a program in which you have this, this cadre of just, just geniuses, musical geniuses, 11 to 18 years old. And so the program helps them, helps them develop uh, so that they'll become uh, the concert pianists and violinists and the conductors uh, that will dazzle Texas for years and years to come. These kids are so talented. So we recognized the need and we were very fortunate uh, that we had the space available to donate to them so that they could have their, uh, their rehearsals there. They're part of Memorial City now. I mean, they are a staple and a tradition. They've been here with us close to 10 years and uh, our customers uh, greatly appreciate to have uh, something like this at uh, Memorial City Mall. It's very difficult uh, to get to, to uh, garnish support for a nonprofit. There are many different organizations, all very worthwhile, competing for the philanthropic dollar. But when you see these children and hear them play and know what your gift can do, it inspires you to give more. Honestly, I feel like Virtuosity of Houston is one of the reasons I got am going to be able to go to Brown University, my dream school, because Virtuosity, along with doing orchestra work, also does quartet work, small quartets, and we got to play at the Ronald McDonald House, and that kind of sparked this huge journey for me in terms of exploring music healing, which is something that I think I want to do as a physician and in college, and so I've been able to work with Methodist Hospital performing for patients in ICUs. And it really started because Virtuosi gave me this great idea that my music can not only be used to entertain, but also to heal possibly. And so I've been really excited about that. And I talked about that in my college application. And I think that's one of the large reasons that I was able to get into Brown and will continue to be able to study this fascinating area of music healing, thanks to Virtuosi. So, I owe a large part of my future to Virtuosi. You know, it's because of them that not only did I get into Brown, but I also got into their medical school through an eight-year program. And so my career, my future in education, and also my lifelong love of music, I think has been nurtured by Virtuosi. I've always loved music. And had I been in a different orchestra, one that was maybe, um, didn't treat the students like professionals, didn't give us the kind of, um, not only education about music, but give us this sense that music is something that produces joy. That might not have been, music might not have been something that I think is so important to my life that I really want to keep for the rest of it. For me, pushing 60 years old here, uh, looking on, on how life is, I can't imagine myself doing anything that didn't involve young people. I just, my whole life's been set up to do that. I used to be young and then I got where I am now, but I could not do without those young people. I couldn't. I, put me in a professional orchestra and take out the youth element, I don't think I could do it. So this connection that we have with this age group and, and the fact that they give you 100% every day, no matter what, they come prepared, they do their homework, all those things that you wish everybody did uh, in whatever their jobs are, these young people, they do it, and they do it time after time after time, and it allows us this, this great quality that we've all become used to and, and cherish. So those young people offer something that makes us also, us professional musicians, makes us feel young again. And it was all based, you know, this whole project of the Virtuosity of Houston was based on, the, on two very interesting principles which I have encountered in my life prior to coming to Houston, based on two principles, good musicianships and nice, respectful, camaraderie. And the camaraderie we, we cherish very much. I think it's a very important component in making mu music meaningful and making music uh, excellent. It makes her feel like there's other people that are like her. The kids in the Virtuosi, they're really all very similar. Um, they, they love making music. It, music is their life. And they can come to a place like this, they feel like they really fit in because everybody's really like them. The majority of our musicians 
pursue a career in music. We're now learning our mission statement has come to fruition. These kids play with a fervor that you don't see in most professional organizations. It's really helped me develop a lifelong friend, and I think that friend is music.